हेलो 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 रिवन एंड स्पेशली हेलो एंड मच लव टू द टोटनाम एंड आर्सनल फैंस आउट द हेलो होप यू आर डूइंग वेल तो टुडे वी आर लर्निंग हाउ टू मॉडल दिस फसाड इन साइड ऑफ स्केच अप सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट दैट लेट्स गो लेट्स गो आफ्टर इट कोज Okay, so start by pressing T. That is for the tape measure tool, and make a guideline at 12 meters. This will be the width of your facade. Now bring on the B Z toolbar. This is a plugin that allows you to make various curves and shapes with control points. If you don't have that, you can download that from the link down below. Now click on the classic Bezier curve, and then make a line like this. and when you move your mouse you could see that this gives you a curve that is not final and you have to put the manipulating points on your own that control your curve so let's place one over here another one over here and one over here like this and double click to final it and click once again to exit out of it after that make a copy of it using the move tool along with the control key at a distance of 3.5 meters now if you right click on this and want to edit it you can click on the edit classic bezier curve and this would bring the control points back again now if you click on these control points we can manipulate this curve again and let's try to make it somewhat similar as like a mirrored curve over here that we made below uh, somewhat like this now after that move that up in the z direction by 21 meters like this then delete this guideline also you can close this after that select both of these and bring on the curvy loft plugin like this and then click on loft by spline once you do that you would see this mesh now change the number of segments by clicking on this arrow so keep it at 30 or 20 maybe or you can also crank it up to like 40 after that you can change the spline method to method 2 so that sort of eases the curve also if you click on this it brings up this window now you can increase the tension in this window by let's say 50 for this point and let's increase or decrease it over this point so let's keep it at 40 for this 50 40 seems fine and click to finalize it now we have this shape now we have this this is like the basic shape of a facade that we are making now select this group and move it aside for any measurement let's say 20 so that we could delete the original curves that we made now move it back in place by 20 like this after that make a rectangle and inference this point and make a square like this or a rectangle double click to select it and then scale it in this direction like this after that make a copy of it using the move tool and the control key at 3 meters and then make a copy of it again at 4 meters and then type 4x to make four copies like this after that select the top four and right click and intersect faces with model after that you could delete these and also select these and make them a group also select this one and make it a group as well now make a rectangle from this point to this point double click to select it and scale it 
till this height over here now make a copy of it over here so we have two rectangles like this now we want to trim this part so let's move it by a very small distance let's say 0 0.01 so that we could intersect it so right click intersect faces with model now we can delete this and if we triple click to select it all make it a group and move it back by 0 0.01 similarly for this move it inside for 0.01 right click and intersect it with the model then we can delete this and triple click to select make group and move it outside for 0 0.01 like this okay after that we can give these a thickness using the join push pull plugin so let's say 0 0.3 and similarly for this 0.3 also we can give this a thickness of 0.15 okay after that we need to slice the shape that we made so for that we need to make certain guidelines first so go to camera and the standard views and the front view and also toggle the parallel projection and then make a guideline at 3 meters then at 4 meters then again 4 meters similarly at 4 meters again and 4 meters again and then 1.5 meters so these are the levels that we are currently having so this can vary according to your building or your facade after that for the this floor make a guideline at 1.2 meters this is for the railings so 1.2 meters high and now from the same guideline make a guideline downwards for 0.9 for this floor and then 1.5 for the floors above so 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 after that delete the guidelines that we made first so select these and delete these now if we bring on the s4u slice plugin and use the tool known as the detach tool what we can do is select this facade click on this tool and if we draw a line on these construction lines this would cut up the whole curved shape into various groups so do that for all the lines click drag and then click again make sure that you are aligned so that it cuts in a straight manner and not like a misaligned cut after that we need to delete these parts and also we can delete the guidelines now after that select all the parts that are remaining on the facade and make them a group separately then edit the group go inside now all of these are separate individual groups so right click and explode them now we need to give them some thickness now if we use the joint push pull plugin tool for that it sort of messes up as you can see it's not able to do that now what we need for this is now 
now no don't say now with the whole group selected go to tools then feed of six collection and inside the joint push pull there is a command known as extrude push pull and this ensures that the extrusion is happening only in one direction so offset it by 0.5 and press enter and you can see this gives us a clean facade and not any weird geometry after that we can give this a color let's say okay now also we can close this now we just need to model some windows for a facade and also let's close this so let's hide this for a moment and make a rectangle like and move it inside let's say make it a group and just copy these now these would depend on your projects and your facades but i am just making some to show you how it can be done let's say there is a small gate over here and then there's some wall and this is extruded for let's say 1.5 to meters and we can make this a window panel by using the divide panel tool by 1001 bit pro plugin and make it like this select all reverse these faces and give it a glass material similarly for this Let's say in this one over here, D and and we just copy these on the other levels. and bring back a facade also we can give this a thickness of let's say 0.6 and turn off the parallel projection and then let's scale it till here like this also we can place some 3d text over here like uh well uh, 49 and place it over here and if we hide the axis and now turn on the shadows Okay, so this is how you model a facade like this inside of SketchUp. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Also hit the like button. And if you have any doubts, you can drop them in the Discord. There's a link down below or you can just comment them. And I would see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, I guess.
टाटा कीप क्रिएटिंग बाय